When we speed up, it causes the other person to run away. When we slow down, it causes them to lean in and at least take us more seriously. You don't, you don't feel like slowing down causes uh, lack of certainty or, or makes the, the, the prospect feel like there's a lack of confidence in, their, in your services or, or product or the lack of knowledge of the product? I don't, and I'm curious to get other students on the call's opinion, but put it. let me put it this way. Okay, I was in 2013, um, I had a near-death experience at the hospital, right? And it was pretty bad healthcare, we'll just leave it at that. I won't say what the hospital it was, because everybody was super fast, they were convinced that I had can't, which didn't even have cancer. They were convinced I had cancer. They moved me up to the ward where I was gonna die and everybody was coming and poking at me and talking really fast and staking things and taking blood and it was really horrible experience. And then one night I was moaning and groaning because it was an internal thing that I had going on. I was moaning and groaning about 2 a.m. and if you've been in the hospital, you can't sleep and your doors open when you're in like those inten intensive care situations. And one doctor, I don't know what the hell he was doing there, maybe somebody had passed away or was saving somebody's life, walked by my room at 2 o'clock in the morning and he stuck his head in there. He was like, are you good? And I was like, I don't know. Now, on a scale of like 1 to 10, 10 being dead, one being totally alive, I was about at nine at this point. I was like, I'm dying by morning. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm dying. And he looked at me and he goes, why are you here? I said, I've got something, they think I have cancer. I've got something with, with my, my insights. No, I, 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 I get that, but why are you here? What, what happened? Well, I started feeling sick and I had a fever of 107 and I came to the emergency room and they started doing and I, I, get, I get all that but before that what what happened I mean I was feeling fine were you feeling totally fine well I had a sinus infection that wouldn't go away huh talk to me about the sinus infection I, I just you know, three weeks and they gave me some antibiotic I, I, just out of curiosity how, how many rounds of antibiotics have you had? Which doctor? What do you mean, which doctor? Well, I went to urgent care first, and then I went to my other doctor. Wait a minute, time out. W walk me through, and he started talking slowly. This person just happened to be the greatest gastroenterologist in the state of Colorado, maybe in the country, but he's, you know, why are you here? Talk to me about what's going on with your situation immediately was like based on everything that I'm hearing I know you're not my patient but I'm, I'm a gastroenterologist I, I believe you have a condition called C. diff uh, I believe it might have been caused by multiple rounds of antibiotics and based on what you've told me you had at least three uh, there's a prescription called vancomycin. If you'd like, I'm going to page your physician right now. I, I'd like to get you on that. I was feeling better within about six hours. I went from an inch to, I swear, hours I would, I would have been dead to starting to feel better. Turns out, had a colonoscopy, went through all that stuff. He was spot on. But the way he spoke allowed me to talk, isn't that weird? Allowed the patient, our prospect, our customer to talk and allowed him to figure out what the hell was going on with my situation. Until we learn what's really going on with that customer, we really are malpractice if we're diagnosing, I know this can help you. Right? Our customers don't care how much we know until they know how much we care. And it's okay, Justin, it's okay. I'm telling you, man, this is a huge decision for them. Real estate is huge. It is okay, I'm giving you permission to slow down, right? You know, when we look at these houses, Matt, uh, what do you wanna see first? Uh, 
I guess garage and, and, and home office. Walk me through that. Why, why the home office? And allow them to talk. Isn't it interesting that nobody in real estate, I've bought multiple houses, nobody has asked me these two dynamite questions. First one everybody should ask, whether you're buying or selling. Just out of curiosity, what's, what's your biggest reason for moving? You know what they ask? Where do you want to move to? What's your budget? Have you been pre-qualified? Do you need a mortgage lender? Because I got a mortgage lender, right? How many bedrooms do you need? What school district do you want? What's your biggest reason for moving? <sighs> you know, to be honest, just I'm kind of going through a separation right now and uh, we, we got to unload the larger house and <sighs> I'm really looking for kind of a n next chapter in, in my life here. Ooh, sorry to hear that walk me through if you don't mind kind of like when you visualize what that next place looks like for you can you kind of walk me through what what that vision is when we slow down we show that we care okay because we don't show that we care is the reason why we get hung up on 24 7 365 make sense